Hey guys, it's Keto Kaya. I wanted to make this video. So recently I have been attacked for being on the keto diet. Um I was had some hateful comments sent like written to me on YouTube, you know, for praising how good the keto diet is and stuff. So these vegans came and attacked and said, Oh, fatty meat, no, that causes inflammation. Oh no, 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 that's wrong. Like does that Okay, well, let me come up here and give you some information and facts. First of all, being a vegan, you're enslaving yourself. You're making yourself a slave. Veganism, you are, you're a saddle masochist. That's what that is. Is you're, You are turned on by being in pain and inflicting pain on yourself. That's what it is. You know why? Because let me tell you why. I have a whole list here. Okay, I'm ready. So first of all, on a vegan diet... They want you to eat all grains, all grains and vegetables. So eating grains and stuff. Let's look at the past and look at who was fed grains. They fed grains to slaves. Slaves are fed grains because grains are cheap. So that's why they're fed grains. Only grains and vegetables, cheap foods and stuff. Look at the Holocaust, how they fed the people just like little soups and little pieces of bread and stuff. That's called slave prisoner food that's what that is that's what you are eating you're eating the cheapest stuff that you can eat basically that you can get like pretty much you're being fed like the bottom barrel so understand that because that's what that is basically second this is i'm gonna expose here this depopulation agenda because that's what that's all vegan is it's nothing more nothing less than depopulation agenda Number two, first of all, I've already made a video about these superfoods that I wrote in the other video about vegan, whatever, whichever. So these superfoods, first of all, they cause issues, inflammatory, they have heavy metals, toxins, all that kind of stuff. Plus the diet, you're not getting any like hormones from like meat. Like if you're a woman, you're not getting estrogen. If you're a man, you're not getting testosterone. Those are things that you get through meat. You also get cholesterol, fat, vitamin D, uh, like B12, all those things, iron and all that stuff. So basically, like, you're making yourself infertile. Infertile, that's another depopulation strategy. So number three, also, you're easily controlled and brainwashed from being malnourished. I mean, you get so malnourished and so, like, the sicker and sicker you get malnourished, like, the more that you're going to be agreeing to your captors and stuff. And that's what people knew when they enslaved people. And when they put people into, like, you know, slavery or, like, they were going to kill, like, genocide, whatever, like, getting ready to kill people, like, that's exactly what they would do. Like, you're starved, you're so malnourished, so then you're easily, like, controlled and easily, like, compliant and stuff like that. So, yeah. And then another thing is also, like, nightshades, that cause psychosis. I already made a video about that. And another thing is low cholesterol, especially, like, that causes psychosis and violence. And stuff. I read, I watched a very important documentary and it was about, also about the same thing I'm talking about, also, which is the vegan depopulation. Like, this is, you know, a total agenda. Like, that's what it is depopulate because um, this woman was speaking and she was saying how low cholesterol, when you have low cholesterol, it makes you psychotic and violent that they have done like research people who have been like arrested or like did like crimes and stuff like they did tests and they found out that those people had like very low cholesterol at the end like you know whichever so they like bash people bash cholesterol all cholesterol is so bad like all this stuff is bad and all this stuff is bad no, no, it's not bad it's actually really good for you it's really good to have cholesterol fats and all these different vitamins and stuff that you get from meat and everything so another thing also is it's like the thing that I speak about sadomasochism is like, okay, so basically you're deprived. You know you're deprived. Let's just be 100% honest with ourselves that you know that you feel deprived and this is why like you have a diet that's mimicking foods, meat foods and all kind of different mimicked foods. And like if you think of it and you look at it, it's like, okay, so these foods are made in a lab to look and mimic meat. Beyond meat burger, for example, like, basically, what you're eating basically is a hologram, okay? Like, that's basically what you're, what you're eating. It's like, I'm sorry, but like, okay, for instance, like, Spongebob episode, like, Plankton, like, he's eating this, like, hologram meatloaf, whatever. Like, you know all those, like, 
shows like in the future where they like have people eating holograms and stuff that's what these are these are holograms this is the future that we're in right now and this is what is the hologram that you that you have on your plate on your plate it's not real food you're not eating real food there's no nutrition in it there's it's made in a lab it's made all full of chemicals i've already made my other video about diet cheese how it has titanium dioxide like all these different chemicals in it so basically you're just eating like lab made garbage that you don't even know what it really is i mean it can, they can be saying okay this is a piece of diet cheese it can be something completely else it can be like something turned into something else for all you know so another thing also with the depopulation thing is okay so you're on this diet and then you're not getting any proper like nutrients so when you don't have the proper nutrients you're more prone to getting sick to getting flus illnesses colds all that stuff that's why I like vegan and vegetarians get sick really easily and I know this from experience because I was vegetarian for a whole like year yeah a whole year I was vegetarian I, I was getting sick all the time all the time I was getting sick because it's like your body is so alkaline like there's no acid balance so basically like there's no acid to like kill bacteria in your body or whatever also you're not getting any bacteria from like meat like and stuff in your body you're just completely like you know there's nothing there to like fight bacteria basically and like I mean I've even seen like channel like YouTube channels with like vegans and they're they're even sick on their channel like get like this one girl's like getting out of a bed like she had a cold she's like oh you have a cold like I gotta like take turmeric and ginger and it's like yeah you're sick because you're not getting the right proper nutrition that's why okay so another thing also is that I really want to talk about that really is confusing me is okay so these vegans like you look at these pages like they relocate to these exotic lands like Costa Rica South America like tropics like these areas and stuff off-grid remote and everything and sometimes it'll be like a group of people and it's kind of like okay you have to think about this like you're in a different country different rules different everything and then it's like, okay, so you're off grid, you're basically in this cult. So it's like, okay, so, you know, like, it could be a perfect way for someone to like kill you out there or something. I mean, I'm just saying, like, I mean, people can disappear. Like, it's really, really something that needs to be kind of thought about. Like, I don't know. I just kind of like wonder, like, okay, wow, like, how many vegans have gone to these different countries and like have never came back? You know, because it's like, you know, you basically your body's devouring itself, like your frail, weak skin and bones, basically. And then you're in this different country, you're like somewhere else. And it's like, okay, like, I don't know, it's just something This is so weird about it. It's like, to me, it's just strange. And then also another thing is it's like, okay, these constant like juice detoxes, enemas and stuff like, okay, what's with the constant, like you got to drink juice, like 21 day juice fast, like juice fast this and that. It's like, okay, so basically like your body's just like completely like cleansed out and cleansed out and they're like having kids getting on these diets. It's like, okay, it just makes me think about something. It makes me think that why would they want you to be so cleaned out like that and i'm going to get to that in another minute but another thing that i first want to say before that which is going to correlate to that is they have like a lot of anger towards people who eat like animal meat animal products and this and that like they have even said like oh like some of them say like oh i want to kill people like i just you know it makes me so angry it's never like Cause I saw like, you know, one video of like vegan gains, like he's like on there like, I fucking hate humans, I wanna fucking kill them, fucking kill these motherfuckers, like, and then it's kinda like, you look at it and you think, okay, like, so eventually, like, are you gonna like cannibalize people? Because that's kind of what I think that the vegan thing is leading down to, like, I know it sounds a little bit crazy, but I'm just gonna say that, um, it kind of just is kind of my own personal theory that I think is like that's gonna come down to because it's kind of like the anger that they're getting towards people who don't want to comply to eat this slave diet they get really really angry really angry and it's kind of like once you leave this cult it's like they're just like completely just like 
trying to attack you or this or that or whatever or something, you know, like, it's just basically like a cult. So it's like, okay, so I'm thinking, yeah, like, would they eventually cannibalize humans? That's what I just wonder because it's kind of like, okay, if you think about it, like these juice detoxes, like having your body completely cleansed out and everything, it's kind of like, okay, so your body's like clean, alcohol, whichever, so that would be like, if someone was, for instance, I'm just going to say, if somebody was going to cannibalize somebody, they would want to cannibalize somebody who has their body completely, like, detoxed out, like, cleansed out and everything, because then that way, like, you know, the organs and everything are all, like, cleansed out and stuff, so there's, like, no smell or something, or, that's just what I'm saying, I mean, that's just my personal, what I think could eventually possibly happen, and plus also with these weird relocations of these exotic lands, like disappearances, like remote, that it could be a disappearance that can happen there, like these remote off-grid places, it's like, who knows, I mean, things could be going on there that we don't know about, so I'm just saying that, I mean, I'm just saying that that's just what could be a possibility, because, um, I don't know, it's just so weird, and I, I just find the way that it's just so pushed, and so pressured, and pushed against people, like, basically, it's come to the point where it's basically, like, they want to force it upon you, and that's the problem that I was in, and why I, like, stayed doing it, and dealt with it all, but it's, like, I just think that, you know, it's, it's nothing more or less than a depopulation agenda, and that's what I, that's what I really think it is, and I really do wonder about, like, these things, and these places, like, these, you know, like, foreign lands, whatever, and there's also, if you think about it, if you look at it, I mean, the diet's endorsed by a lot of celebrities, see, we got Beyonce up there, and another thing is, like, Bill Gates, like, really, I mean, come on, you're gonna eat a diet endorsed by Bill Gates, seriously, like, I mean, come on, it's, it's clearly just something that, okay, you know what, we're tired of these humans, Let's feed them some cheap ass grains. Let's depopulate this fucking place and get them the fuck out of here. That's pretty much what I see it as. So that's just my thoughts there. And I just wanted to share that video. And I wanted to also say to who wrote a comment to my video saying that my food was queen tastic. Oh, baby, <laughs> if you on this diet, oh, you the motherfucking queen. Let me tell you that. Because let me tell you, you eat, you a slave, you just don't realize it, and you're eating like a slave. Because let me tell you, my people did not eat no damn vegan diet. My people ate real fucking food. Organ meats, meats, raw milk, eggs, and shit. Not none of this bullshit. So do not even come at me with this nonsense, because it's nothing more or less than an agenda. So don't even come at me like that, okay? Okay, so I just wanted to finish that video and make that very clear. And I hope everyone has a good day.